Good morning. I'm glad each and every one of you are here this morning with us. I am surprised that you couldn't find something else to do on a Sunday morning, like sleep. First of all, I do want to let you know that because Mr. Ryan Glottemans have, has taken a full-time job as a teacher, we are without a Christian Faith Formation Director at this time. So I do thank all of the adults who have stepped up to help make this program work for us the best as possible as we are in the process of looking for a new director. I also do want to let you know that when I think about Christian faith formation, I think two things need to come together. First of all, you need to realize that you are a unique individual. And then secondly, it is how do you relate yourself to others and to our God? We all belong to families. We all belong to special groups. Some of them are large, some of them are small. I would like to let you know that as an individual, I know that most of you know me as a priest. I'm reminded about the fact of how complicated that may be, however, when I reflect upon a time when I was down in Florida visiting one of my nieces and her family. Brenda was about fourth grade, and she wanted to introduce me to one of her friends. And she said, Uncle Ronnie, when I introduce you to my friend, should I call you Uncle Ronnie, or should I introduce you as Father Ronnie? Brenda, being who she is, decided that she would call me Father Uncle Ronnie. A little bit more complicated than life needs to be. But I do want to let you know that it is very important to take time as a young person to get to know who you are. I want to let you know that when I think about myself, there's many different ways that I look upon myself as an individual. I want to let you know that each of these bells on this hat reminds me that there's many different ways that I relate to people in the world that I relate to myself. And I wish you would stop laughing at this time. There's sometimes I relate to people as a priest, sometimes as an uncle, sometimes as a fisherman, sometimes as a golfer. Sometimes I relate to people because I'm scared or I don't know what to do, or I'm hurt or ashamed. It's very important to know that we are complicated people. We're made up of many different parts and each and every day of our life we have many different emotions and feelings. They all happen to be more than okay. What we feel, what we think, do not make us who and what we are. I hope and pray that as you go through this year of Christian faith formation, you may be able to begin to understand that we have a loving God, a God who accepts us, who we are, who invites us to be as good and the best we can be, but most importantly, a God who wants to be with us always in our struggles and in our joys. God bless you, and hopefully you have a great class today. Bye now.